Briggs, um, I'm going to hazard a guess and say one of the most frustrating parts of that is given the amount of chances you had to walk away scoreless and uh, without a point, is that is that the way you see this? Yeah, of course. It was one-way traffic, really. I mean, um, and even the opportunities that they had was, you know, through through our mistakes, which we need to improve on. But, you know, in terms of the intensity, um, uh, the possession, the possession that led to chances, you know, that led to shots, we need to hit target. And that's a difference. I think they had a quarter of, of the shots that we had. And I think they only had one or two shots and one of them went in. You know, we had 17 or 18 or something like that. So we need to improve there. And then you look at the game and, and you look at the big chance that we created um, that hit the post and that goes in sometimes, sometimes goes out. At 1-1, one, one, we've got momentum, we've got fresh bodies to put on. It's a game, it really is a game of inches. And, you know, like I said, uh, you know, the, the boys, their intensity, their effort was there again. So I can't fault them, but we need to continue to, to improve. You made the, the decision at uh, half time to withdraw uh, Tom Mohamed for Dibby Pritchard. What, what was the reasoning of that change? I made two changes at half time. Oh, we... It wasn't just the one. So, you know, for me, it was about moving the ball quicker from, from, from defence in, 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 and breaking, in, and we wanted to break their lines quicker as well. And, and, and like I said, I, I thought that we can get in behind them more often, which we did in the second half. And I wanted more intensity up top. And, and I think the players will slowly realise the kind of uh, style that, that I want to play. And, uh, and you need to do it. And you need to continually do it. And it's, you're not going to be at the football club just to pick up a cheque or, or on a holiday. You're going to work hard. And, that, and that's it. And I want players of... Of quality, we're going to work hard, and uh, and, and like I said, Dimi and, and Hemet are two different players. Dimi's, you know, can make those power runs in behind. You know, Tomo's more uh, back to goal type, so I needed to change that. You mentioned Bruins about the players getting used to what you want. At the moment, the games are coming thick and fast. Does that help you bet in your system, or would you rather have extended time off and more time on the training track? Oh, the best day of the week is the game day, but like I said, uh, the amount of work that's that's been put into giving the players the information and the way we want to play, and I think they're best suited to, to putting it out there and playing under under pressure. So I, I think they were very good on, on Wednesday. It was a better performance today. We just didn't get the points. That was it, and that's going to happen in football. We've seen it plenty of times. For, for me, it was one of those... You know, I can't recall what it was, but when you have 75% possession, you know, and you have all those chances and you lose 1-0, I can't remember that famous game, but it felt like that. It was just one-way traffic. And like I said, we just needed that right ball at the right time. Um, and, and like I said, the ball hits the post and goes in, I believe we win the game. But it doesn't, and we lose the game. But I, uh, I, I've seen another improvement again today. Still. Still have to get, get better. Some decision making um, has to get better, and and that's what we strive to do is to be the best we can. Okay. Thank you, is that okay? Yeah. Oh, sorry, mate. I was trying to get myself off mute. Right. I wanted to ask: um, in, in these early days with, with the team that you've had after a performance like this, but a disappointing result, what have you have you learned anything different about this team? Uh, after uh, your second game now in charge? Yes. You won your lap at half time in the first game. You won your down at half time in the second game. I saw a team that that was challenged and, and the character was there to try and win the game instead of dropping their heads and feeling sorry for themselves, which I've seen in the past. So that's one big difference. And we're, we're, we're going to continue to play football, a good style of football as well, a good brand, possession, dynamic, you know, forward. And I saw another improvement again today. So no dramas, just take the results away. Everything was really good.